Today on Briar Rock Cemetery, we are going to do an unboxing of the 24 LED TV. And this I am going to use for my movie trailers. If you like what I do, like, subscribe, share, comment. For the people that have been uh, following me on my YouTube channel a few years ago, or actually maybe a year ago, I did uh, movie posters. So this one I am going to have trailers playing on, and we're going to have that going with another media player. So let's get this unboxed and see what we're working with. So here it is unboxed 24 inches comes with a manual comes with uh, stands and your remote now i'm going to use a 1080p media player for this one and if you notice here i have on the back uh, mounted the mounting bracket and you do have a few hdmis you have a usb powered for like a light strip and you have a digital um, optical output along with an audio out. And up here you have an ethernet. And then you have your component. Or these are actually your composite. And you have the antenna. So I'm going to hook up the media player to it. And uh, we're going to go from there. So once you get everything hooked up, your 1080p player, you're going to be brought to these menus you can either do like photos music pictures so i'm strictly going to do movies usb and then just go to the drives and i have a couple preloaded trailers and that's it that's all there is to it now you can download trailers from a whole bunch of different sites um, I just basically go on the internet and find them and download them at 1080p. Now, as you see, the angle of this um, is really good. So if you're walking by, it's it's really nice. I did buy a DLED TV, and it was terrible from the sides. It was a 60-degree image. So when I got around here, it was all distorted. So we're going to mount this to the wall and we're going to be, we, another thing you could do with this is, is if you're going to display pictures on it, go to an actual video editor and then import them into there and make a movie out of those pictures. So you can seamlessly go from your pictures to your movies, to your actual display. Now this does have a fire stick on it, so I can also mess around with it and have other things playing on it, which is really nice. It's got fire TV built into it. I'm gonna mount uh, LEDs. It does have the five volt source on the back, so I'm gonna actually backlight it again. And we're gonna mount it to the wall, and then I'm gonna show you the finished uh, product. But as you can see, the picture is really nice. Now, this insignia only cost me like $110. Like I said, 24 inches. And this exactly will fit the bill. So I'm going to get to installing everything else, putting it on the wall, and finalizing everything. So I just wanted to say, like, say you're doing something and you shut it off. You want to, like, you don't want it playing. The media player will constantly be running. So all you have to do, this one's a little different. On my other TVs, you just powered it on. But you'd power it back on, and all you do is go to HDMI 1. That's it, and then you're done. The other ones would automatically sense the signal for this, and it will just, my movie posters, and it will just automatically go to it. Um, I'm not sure if that was a 4K um, feature or if that was an actual tv feature but i'm not again i'm not going to take my 4k player and test it out on this so that's just another thing that you guys can can mess around with but that's fine with me so i'm going to show you how to make a video out of your images 
And I use Filmora, and all you do is basically just drag each one of these down into the folder. And I resize these with that Fast Tone app, and you have to resize them like 1920 by 1080 so that they accommodate a, a, a 1080p TV. Now, you want to set the duration. I usually do 15 seconds. You could do this one of two ways. You could either just take the sidebar and drag it. This is what I like to do, and I just kind of get around 15 seconds and then let it go. Another way you could do it is coming up here and hitting this time and then just setting your 15 seconds this way and then hitting OK. I think it's quicker for me to just go through here and actually just do this and it doesn't have to be like right on. And then what you do here is after you're done, you export it to an actual video file and then save this and then just keep adding images on the end of this just keep going and going and going with it you know and when you want to add new ones just do it and then just export a new video copy it over and just leave it the same name now the only reason I do it this way is because when you're in a video folder there's no way to view pictures. Now, if you're just viewing pictures, you just want to put things like this up on your screen, then you can just, you know, use the, the photo file on the actual media player. And for those feeling really ambitious, you can actually drag in a audio clip over these images so if you have the volume up you can have like something themed to it like this you could have maybe a background of Mortal Kombat music playing or or something the only thing is you'd have to stretch the video out long enough for it to end at a certain spot and then just keep adding to it as you go on new mp3s more images Another thing you can do is you can take these video files of the photos and just put a wave of maybe 10 or 20 in there and then rename them in the hierarchy of your folders so that it hits like three trailers, like video trailers, and then it goes to your photo trailer and then it goes to like another set of video uh, trailers and then, you know, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the end of a Venom trailer, and it goes right into what I just showed you in Filmora. And like I said, it'll be 15 seconds in image. You can overlay audio on the top of it if you want to add a little bit more flair. Uh, it's something I might want to do down the line, but right now this is fine. And it's an easy way to display things that uh, you like and you enjoy and uh yeah it turned out really nice this tv has really got a good picture sometimes i think that the pictures are actually better than the movies in terms of uh visual quality yeah so it turned out incredible i i like it here I'm going to leave it with the sound off and I'll have the picture going. Obviously, when I watch a movie, all this stuff goes off. This is one of my digital movie posters back here. The viewing angle on this is excellent. The other one that I bought, that $200 TV, that went back 60 degrees, like right around here. And the image was distorted. Uh, one of these days, I'll have to give you a walkthrough of everything. Uh, this is my other digital movie poster. But yeah, I have uh, Atmos. I got four up here. I got two up here. I got 10 subs, uh, two back here, uh, two, uh, those are SVS 3000s. Those are um, PB10s and then I got Swan Divas. So like one of these days I'll have to give you guys a, a walkthrough of everything. Yeah, so besides this uh, trailer, I also did back here, I have my media room and it's all hooked up to a motion sensor so when i walk in there the motion sensor turns on all the lights 
and uh, this is where I store like my AV gear and uh, some collectibles got some posters and my movies so it's all hooked up to a relay for those that follow me on Halloween form or actually you know any of my Halloween videos I do a lot of relays a ton of them and back here I got Edgar Allan Poe um, but yeah I did this room I'll have a video on that too I believe I shot the to and fro so I got relays up here, relays, relays. I love it. I love relays. If you ever want to get into like automation, do some relays. But yeah, so in closing, I like this a lot. And I suggest, like I said, the TV was only 120 bucks. It's good stuff. All right, if you like what I do, like, subscribe, share, comment, everyone.